days on the market. Does the time a property's been on the market affect how you should bid on it? Bob and Erica, that's your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Today's show, I'm working with two repeat clients of mine, Bob and Erica, husband wife team, seasoned investors. You guys have been you know, around the business for quite some time. We're, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff together. We're really trying to extract some extreme value out of the marketplace. We're trying to do bird deals. You know, trying to flip this or that, trying to, you know, go in with cash and really get some undervalued real estate. And, uh, Bob, you wanted to mix things up. You're like, hey, man, I tell you what, let's, uh, you know, we've been outbid on several properties. Some things are moving. You wanted to look at some overpriced listings, some listings that have been on the market for too long. You know, let's let's see what we can do with some sellers who might be getting desperate. And that's what we're doing, bro. So, the first of the two properties I've got for you that are just, you know, gross listings. This one has been on the market almost an entire year. 352 days, and it is priced at 62500 which, of course, we don't want to pay 62500 and it, it don't look like anybody else does either. Now, this bad boy, listed by a company called St- Steel Valley Homes. This is a former rental property. Now, you know, when you get these uh, properties that sit on the market for a long time, you know, there's usually mistakes I could point out, which is why they've been listed forever. One of the mistakes is the price. That's always the biggest mistake. But the second one is how you present it. Either there's no photos or what we have here. We have uh, just a, a whole slew of unorganized photos that don't present the proper picture, right? You're looking at these photos and you're probably like, okay, it's just a messy little rental property. How much is the tenant paying in rent? Well, there ain't no tenant. The tenant's gone. I don't know how long the tenant's been gone for, but the agent never went to update the pictures. And real quick, just why I'm here with the pictures, uh, just looking at the mechanicals. Good move out of the agent, though, for getting us the mechanicals. A lot of folks always forget that stuff. Uh, This furnace, definitely an older furnace, probably 25, 30 years old. Just so you guys are aware, hot water tank, that's probably over 10 years old. Do have updated electrical. Nice looking garage, okay? And the other thing I did too, because Garfield Heights is a point of sale city. Very important. Uh, If you want to check out stuff in point of sale city, it's always important to take a look at the uh, driveway because concrete is like the biggest cost when we're dealing with these point of sale inspections and we are looking pretty good here I don't really see any issues with the apron and the driveway looks pretty good so I don't see the city coming out and uh, hitting us with like a fifteen twenty thousand dollar point of sale now here is the negative uh, with this particular property and the point of sale process system and it's also gonna be a problem with the second property right we're dealing with uh, long days on the market, right? So if your property's been on the market 352 days, we know you did something wrong, right? Don't take 352 days to sell a property. If you price the property correctly, market it correctly, you'll sell it in under 30 days typically, right? Stuff moves. You guys are, you know, you've seen that firsthand. So we're 352 days on the market. So, you know, we're not doing something right on the other side, okay? And Because of stuff like that, you're going to have to deal with some bumpy and rough transactions, especially when the POS is implemented. Uh, By the way, you guys are aware, Bob and Erica, you know, everybody else, if you have no clue what the hell I'm talking about, I keep saying POS. What the fuck is a POS? If that's what you're thinking, pause the video, click the show notes below. I got a whole instructional video explaining what the POS is. So going forward now, I'm going to assume you all who are watching know what the hell I'm talking about when I say POS. So 352 days on the market. Uh, I think it's going to be a bumpy transaction. As far as the POS goes, they haven't ordered it. You get a lot of these agents, sometimes they're not familiar working with the point of sale system or the sellers, you know, they're just difficult. Some of these sellers won't order the point of sale until they get an offer they're willing to accept. But how the hell are we as a buyer supposed to give them a firm offer if we don't know what we're buying? 
the most efficient way to sell these particular properties is you get the POS and you send everything to the buyers. Like, yo, all cards on the table, this is what you're buying, make me an offer. You know, giving them only half of your hand is just fucking nonsense, but you're going to deal with that, and that's what we're dealing with here, and we're dealing with that same scenario on the second property, which is going to make for a bumpy, extremely delayed transaction. But again... You guys, that's what we're, you know, that's the road you're taking. When we're doing deals, we're, we're specifically targeting properties that have been on the market for a long time. We're specifically targeting agents or sellers who are not doing their job efficient or well. So with all of that said, this is my strategy for this property. I believe the best move would be for us to pick it up at $40,000 with us budgeting a $20,000 renovation, putting us all in at $60,000. Now, what that $20,000 renovation would cover would be all the cosmetics inside. That'd be able to give us a beautiful looking home with an updated kitchen and an updated bathroom. Probably take care of all the stuff inside Section 8, whatnot, right? If we do that, we should be able to bring in a tenant paying $1,000 a month, so we'll bring in $12,000 a year. Now, as far as that $12,000 that comes in, I'm anticipating, or I'm, yeah, of that $12,000 that comes in, I'm anticipating $52,20 of that going out. Break that down by the month, that's $435. So I think, uh, you know, an average monthly NOI is going to be around $565. Now, that's the cosmetics that's handling things inside. If there is a bunch of POS issues outside, we're going to, you know, that's that's going to blow that budget. So we're going to have to renegotiate uh, with those sellers. Typically, what we we'll want to do, we'll make our offer, you know, be 40K contingent on a clear point of sale. And then hopefully they accept that. But what could happen in these situations is they get their point of sale and then they realize, oh, shit, there's a whole bunch of violations that I didn't anticipate because they're not familiar with it. Uh, they, they won't know what to do. And either, uh, you know, they said before that they could do them, but now they realize they can't. Maybe they don't have the money. They don't have the skill. They don't have the knowledge how to do it. We would then, they would probably then come back to us and try to negotiate. We'd probably need to negotiate that further. Uh, we're just dealing with people that don't really understand the process. But that's why we looked at the uh, the driveway there, right? Garfield, you know, they're doing exterior POSs right now, just exterior, right? So we're looking at the concrete. That's where the big things are going to mess with us, right? Doesn't appear we need to do a driveway. So uh, hopefully we don't have anything major. It might be just a few little ticky-tack things that they can either take care of or at that point we'll renegotiate another price drop, okay? So with all that said... Where we're at currently, though, assume they're able to, like, handle these small Tic Tac items. You end up all into the sucker for 60 Gs. Uh, or maybe, like, there's a couple Tic Tac things they can't take care of, so maybe we get you a couple more grand off. But more or less, I think you'll end up into this bad boy at 60 Gs, which would be great. If you did that, it's an 11.3 cap. Even if it... Uh, Appraised for minimally above that, just looking very conservative. Even if we only got to a price for 5K above that with you doing all that work, the bank had loan you 45 Gs. You end up with only 15 Gs in the deal, and that's going to be a 30% ROI. So, solid deal. Now, it's kind of a long shot because we're still $22,000 off of their price, but that's what we're doing, right? We're fishing right now, right? It's not like there's all these amazing bird deals just on the market. We could just pluck them and we just make a ton of money. Uh, you guys know you guys have been looking at a lot of houses in a similar neighborhood, a lot of houses in Maple Heights, and they're getting bought up before you're even uh, getting a chance to bid on them, which, by the way, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that you guys are utilizing Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com to find a lot of properties, and then you're sending them to me, and you're like, hey, what about this property? And then I got to explain to you, oh, that one uh, went under contract two, three days ago, stuff like that. You guys don't want to be using those sites. You want to be using the real-time MLS access that we have set up for you guys, right? You just go to HoltonWise.com, all right, property search for sale tab, you got our shows, right? The Investment Properties for Sales show, which you're all familiar with. The MLS Search and Analysis show, which is what you're watching now. But we also have direct MLS access for you guys, right? This is my direct broker access, and I've broken it down into all kinds of deals you guys could want, right? We got seller finance deals. Anytime a seller finance deal hits the market, you get the information immediately. I'm talking two, three, four days before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Flips, we got flippers out there. Y'all looking for distressed properties, bank-owned, Arios, properties that are messed up. We got A-grade flips set up for you guys here, right? So I'm 
talking about houses in neighborhoods where the prices are three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars, and you can actually have a big, huge profit spread. As soon as those properties come on, like, dude, you get an A grade property where the median price is four hundred k. How often is a property getting foreclosed? Very few and far between. So you need to be the first person that knows when that happens. And then we got them for the rentals and stuff too, right? So Bob and Erica, what you guys are looking at, man? You guys should be getting the real time MLS feed for B class singles, C class singles, B class multi, C class multi. Multis. So that way when these Maple Heights and other similar properties that are pretty cheap that we can get these, uh, you know, aggressive offers on, get some undervalued properties, you want to be the first person to get your offer in because, you know, they're, they're selling immediately, right? Or you got to do what we're doing today and we're just trying to target deals that don't appear to be good because, you know, we're way overpriced or we got agents and sellers who are very confused and that's why nobody else wants to deal with it. So maybe this deal pans out, maybe it doesn't. Time is going to tell. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go to a quick word from the sponsor of the show and then I'm going to get into the second property. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. All right, Bob and Erica, welcome back. I got the second one already up on the screen for us. 4809 East 135th, also in Garfield Heights, and this one, holy shit! 469 fucking days on the market. My God. $55,900. Let's see what kind of marketing we got that leads us to 469 days on the market. Boom. We got this front yard picture followed by nothing, right? Nothing. Very, uh, very minimal marketing effort out of this particular agent, okay? The listing agent they're working out of uh, VS Realty Group. Uh, we got one photo. That's definitely going to lead to, uh, you know, long days on the market. As far as what they said, great rental property in great condition. Tenant occupied with tenant paying eight sixty dollars per month plus utilities. Now, popping up my chart, you'll see I've written nine thirty five there, right? 11220 a year. Reason I did that, go into the following chart where I break down the expenses, right? Instead of eight sixty dollars with a line item of zero for water and sewer, I have set this up where we collect 935 from the tenant, call that rent, and you pay the water sewer. If you're confused at why that is, check out the FAC, our property management FAC on HoltonWise.com. We explain why it makes no goddamn sense for any owner in the Cleveland market to try to have their tenants deal with the water. It eventually falls on you anyway. We explain that in full detail. So we would make that minor change. If we were to take this property over, what we would do would we meet with the tenant, and uh, typically, like just so everybody's aware, Ohio law, you have to adhere to existing leases, okay? So if it's a month-to-month -month lease, you can give them a 30-day notice, and then, you know, you could change the lease terms. But if they have like six months left in their lease, whatever the terms of their lease is, by law, you cannot force them to sign a new lease. However, if you're cool with the tenant, and you don't ruffle the tenant's feathers, and you don't, most, and this is most important, you don't increase their rent, Tenants have no issue voluntarily signing a new lease with you. It's it's very simple, very easy. Uh, some folks, like, uh, you know, if they got six months left on their old lease, they'll have no problem signing a new six-month lease just so they know all the terms and stuff. But the big thing 
is you don't increase the rent. So with this particular tenant, and we do this all the time when we take properties over from mom and pop landlords that don't really know what they're doing and they think they could pass the water sewer bill to the tenant. What we would do is just, hey man, you're currently paying 860 and you know your water sewer bill, you're paying that on your own, it varies. We're just going to cap it at 75. You just paid 935 to us, we'll take care of the bills. Nine times out of 10, we have no issues with the tenants handling that type of stuff. So that's no big deal, right? So with all that in mind, man, you guys should be netting 342 a month on average, 4104 a year. You don't have to put any money into this right now, but this has been on the market forever, so let's try to extract some value, man. Let's try to come in with a cash offer, pick it up for $45,000, or you know what? Screw it. Let's not even do a cash offer. Let's finance it. I mean, they got nothing going on, man. Let's just finance the sucker. Have you only put down 11250 right? Just 11250 Keep your cash for some other deals where we got to do a big old rehab. Let's just put down 11250 As it sits right now, it'll be over a 20% return on investment. And you guys know, going forward, the market rent, it's, it's roughly $1,000. So it, it's making some money right now with this current tenant. Let's keep this tenant in there as long as we possibly can. Maybe after, you know, when the next lease renewal and the next lease renewal comes up, we could increase their rent like 10 15 bucks. But, you know, we don't want to do anything crazy. We don't want them to leave. We don't want to increase turnover with artificial turnover. So that's... That should be our goal with this one. I say we try to pick this up at 45. Now, same deal, all right? We got folks, you know, 469 days on the market, man. That's rough, right? So no POS has been ordered. So we'll make our offer contingent on a review of the POS. Uh, you know, and then I think if we can pick it up at 45K with us doing no POS repairs or very minimal POS repairs, if it's like a grand or two, that's a great deal. If it turns out to be a bunch more POS repairs, at that point, we'll need to probably renegotiate it with the seller. Because, again, it's happened so many times, man. You get sellers like this. They don't understand the point of sale process. And uh, they just they end up having to renegotiate it later. So... Both of these deals, I just want you guys to be aware. I think we can possibly pull off some really good deals here, but they ain't going to be easy. They're going to be bumpy deals, and it's probably going to take, you know, every bit of 60 or 90 days to get to the closing table on these deals. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise.
Real estate investing made easy.